to one position and lift off. Go back go back in. Go back in. One small step on the moon, one large step for Torrance-based innovator Marcus Rufer and his unconventional team at Scorpius Space Launch Company. We often start innovation, new ideas, literally on a bench or on a floor or on a prototype that we built literally out of a couple wooden stir sticks and some chewing gum. The intuitive machine's Athena lander that landed on the south pole of the moon was propelled by Scorpius's cryogenic tanks. This is really monumental for us because we're a small company and for us to be delivering now new technology that the business and NASA have been wanting to have for quite a long time, meaning flying clean solutions, uh, flying liquid methane and liquid oxygen, as opposed to maybe hydrazine, another more toxic and, and more unfavorable for, for a clean solution. That really propels this to the next step. This landing serves as an inspiration in multiple ways. This is not just a milestone for Scorpius, but a proud moment for the city of Torrance. Their work represents the cutting edge of space innovation right here in our own community. This is a fantastic occasion for us for many reasons. It is a great uh, a pool of highly skilled labor and engineers, and we never had to go really far to find our people, and we assembled a team that is truly kaleidoscope of people from all different backgrounds. Rufer says achieving this type of success is possible for anyone. I think this is a, a good example of how we have traditions broken here in the sense that people who maybe did not see themselves as being working in aerospace, a will and curiosity and creativity in a pair of good hands can land you literally on the moon. Torrance is full of small businesses with big achievements. To learn why businesses choose Torrance, visit torrentca.gov slash whytorrance. I'm Nicole Nash with the City of Torrance.